watching Vlogmas fam. Guys, Vlogmas day 19, that's crazy. It is so windy outside. Last night, all night, and now it's just like so windy. Everyone's stuff is just blowing all over the streets. It's just, it's totally cuckoo. Like I was up all night cause like I was just like afraid. It was just like so loud. So good morning. Sick day number three. You guys are scaring me because a lot of you guys said that you were sick for like weeks. So it just seems like everyone is sick right now and for a long time. So that's fun. There's definitely a lot of stuff going around and it's not COVID. So we'll see how long this lasts. I just really want to get better for Christmas. But I'm gonna go ahead and just wash my face so fun there's like a pimple under my eye and like that really sensitive thin skin area i'm obviously not gonna like try to pop it or anything but it's just like so <laughs> unpleasant and i asked you guys over on instagram to send in some q a questions so i was thinking we could do like a q a in this vlog and maybe if i'm up for it try to build the target gingerbread house or gingerbread store, I guess. But last night I compiled a list of the Christmas movies that I still wanna watch. So here are the ones that I wrote down. I still need to watch Miracle on 34th Street, Home Alone 2, that new Hallmark movie, I don't remember the name of it, but I DVR'd it. This Christmas, Just Friends, The Holiday. Did I already say that? Yeah, so those are the ones I still wanna watch this year that I haven't watched yet, so. I have a feeling it's gonna be like a binge Christmas movies and chill kind of day. Maybe I'll wash my hair. I've been taking body showers every day, but the hair could use a wash. Maybe we'll do that later. And maybe I'll try out this new mask I got at Cosmoprof, the Wella Color Fresh Pro Blonde to help with toning it a little bit because toner always wears off but we'll see if i have energy for that because like my energy is pretty low and i haven't really been like napping either so i'm gonna try to take like a nap today just because we all know the body heals when it's asleep so is anyone else this way where like they just have to put earrings in like if i'm just chilling at home if i'm going to the gym i have to put earrings in these are my favorite everyday hoops i wear them like every day you've probably noticed they're from amazon super cheap i will link them and then my pajamas are skims because I love me a skims pajama. And then every morning and every night, lastly, I throw on the Laneige. Is it Laneige? Is that how you pronounce it? It's the lip sleeping mask, but it's so great anytime. And this is the peppermint, so nice. All right, let's go start our day. <laughs> Whatever day we are about to have. You want your advent calendar? Let's see. Day 18, right here. Woo! It's these little teddy bear cookies again. I'll show the vlog. Look at the cute little teddy bears. You want it? <laughs> so gentle. Oh, he's taking it to go today. I won't lie, you guys. It's like, it's hard not to get a little bit sad being sick right before Christmas. <laughs> I'm Like I said, I'm really grateful that we were good for like the first half of the month, but I just feel like there's so much I wanna like go do and I don't know. I just feel a little bit, a little bit sad today if I'm honest, but we're gonna make the most of it. I'm gonna make some tea. At least it's like a rainy, cozy day. I think the rest of the week is gonna be like really sunny. So I'm gonna indulge in the rainy, dreary weather today and just, you know, watch my movies. I don't know if I have the energy to do the Target store gingerbread, but I think I will do a little Q&A for you guys. So I haven't checked the Instagram yet, but hopefully you guys got your questions in. Would you like to give them the update? Say, mom and I have been sitting in bed, cozy, watching the steamies. Oh, so yes, I am, I'm snuggled up in bed and it feels so good. There's something that hits so different about being in bed when you're sick versus just like on the couch. Yar is a trooper, he is working today, working from home though, of course. Um, he's gonna work from home while he's sick. Um, but yeah, probably right through this last week before Christmas, which is crazy, guys. Oh, I'm so happy I wrapped gifts 
when I did like knowing that the gifts are wrapped is just like such a massive relief um, and everything has been ordered like I said I have a couple last minute things I'm waiting for to come in but yeah I thought I would take some time now it's like around one o'clock um, and I just went downstairs had some lunch and <laughs> crawled my butt right back into bed and I thought we could do our vlogmas segment of the day. So I posted vlogmas Q&A on Instagram. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because every time I do a Q&A, that's where I ask you guys to send in your questions. And we have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of questions. So I'm just going to pick some of my favorites that I haven't really, you know, talked about at least in a while. So let's dive on in. Thoughts on resolutions for New Year's and goals and pressure to meet goals. Honestly, here's the thing. I... I personally like have always kind of made resolutions but not like unhealthy ones anymore like when I was young I would always make like they were always about weight and just like so much pressure it was always about weight you know because that's like the society we kind of grow up in where it's always resolutions about losing weight losing weight losing weight but now I make more resolutions that are like learning Spanish um, and I started early you don't have to like do it on New Year's I think it's fun to just set goals for yourself in general it helps us grow and Bruno's what are you doing show them how cute you are were you rubbing it were you showing your belly were you showing your belly anyway I personally like setting goals for myself but as long as they're goals that are like sustainable and like help you grow there's nothing wrong with that but don't put so much pressure on yourself to like oh my god I have to lose a bunch of weight this year it's like that's just oh, come on there's so much more to you than your weight if you want to like lose weight for your health or whatever that's fine but like there's so much other amazing goal setting to do to grow as a human um like i just hit day 47 of my streak on duolingo um i was determined to learn spanish as a i don't think i don't know did i set it as a resolution see i don't even know but one of my biggest goals is to learn spanish um because i want my kids to be bilingual which they could be from yar but i want to know spanish as well um so just do something fun for a goal if you want. And if you don't like them, don't do them. That's fine too. Where is your next trip or where do you go soon? I love travel, love your channel. Thank you. Um, for travel, we have a trip coming up to visit family. Um, but I don't know, like in terms of like a vacation for us, we had a tentative plan for the winter. I'm going to Florida with my mom this winter as well, like we do every year. So that'll be coming up, but... It's all kind of like loose right now. More questions. Do you have any New Year's resolutions this year? 2024 goals. Um, honestly, I don't really have any big ones. Like I said, I kind of, you can just start New Year's resolutions any time of year. Um, like, I just really want to continue to learn Spanish. I would like to read more. I feel like that's always a resolution. But like, I feel like I've gotten pretty good the last few years at like staying organized. Um, working out consistently. I'm really proud of myself. I've been working out consistently now for over a year minus when I'm sick, but um, using Copilot that has kept me consistent for over a year, which is huge. I'm so grateful um, and so happy that I discovered Copilot working with them. And I just, I love the app. I really do. It keeps me so on track and continuously working out and I finally work out now for health beyond weight like it just I feel so much stronger I have more like energy <laughs> when I'm not sick um, and it just makes me feel better mentally physically all around I want to continue to work out consistently um, continue to learn Spanish <laughs> Bruno don't, don't knock over the tripod he's like stretched out Bruno's very long what is something that you know about life now that you wish you would have known before I wish I knew <laughs> um, that it's not always super quick to get pregnant I feel like in like movies and just the perception of like trying to get pregnant it always just seems like well the second you start trying it's gonna happen that's just kind of like how I feel like it comes off in a lot of ways but now I've learned like it's just not always that simple and it, it can take time and um I don't know I, w I I had a lot of preconceived notions that I was going to get pregnant really fast and you know here I am a year later after a miscarriage and it's just like I wish I had gone into it with a little bit more of like a skeptical mindset just to protect myself but I'm also like a dive in head for head first kind of person and like figure it out later but um 
yeah, I, I wish I knew that. <laughs> what are some baby names that you and Yar like but won't be using? I don't know. We have like a list of baby names that we like in um, our notes app, but maybe we could do that video down the road when we do get pregnant. How come you never vlog around Yar's family? Um, I get asked this a lot and I just like, I thought it was kind of obvious. Like, I don't want to like put a camera in their face. <laughs> like, I just, my family has always been along on the YouTube journey since I started over a decade ago. And like, I would never want to like intrude and force that in front of them like I just want to enjoy quality time with them like that it just it just seems like inappropriate to do that you know it's like that's not my place to do that um and you know when I'm hanging out with his family I, I do just want to enjoy the time with them but like I would never want to just like put the camera in their face it just doesn't seem right how do you deal with the negative comments about your relationship with Yar oh god because I am so confident in my relationship and so happy in my relationship I don't comments don't bother me because like I know what we have. How did you get your hair so healthy? Can you drop a hair care routine? Um, I mean, I've shared some of my favorite products, but even before I chopped it, my hair had gone through um, a lot. Yeah, to my boy. Hi, baby. You're so handsome. Why are you so handsome? Um, I, you know, I had dyed it red and then dark and then bleach it again. And I think it really is just like using good products. Like I use the Pureology Color Fanatic Leave-In Spray. That helped a lot. I use the Pureology, okay, Bruno. <laughs> Pureology Shampoo and Conditioner. Just like using really good brands. I use a lot of different stuff. Olaplex, um, just like it's worth investing in good hair care, um, especially if you have like sensitive or fragile hair. Look at this dog right now. <laughs> Look at this dog. You are just spread eagle. Thanks for being so open about your TTC journey. It helped me helps me feel less alone sending baby dust. I'm sending baby dust to you as well. Um, and as hard as it is to talk about it, um, I am really, really glad that like it helps every other person out there feel less alone because it is an extremely isolating feeling. Um, it feels like you're very alone <laughs> and you're not. So, um, I'm really glad that it's made you feel less alone. That makes me very happy. Do you have baby names picked out for future kids? Um, like we said, tentative list. How did you find the courage to keep dating after heartbreak? Um, back when I was single, um, I think I gave myself some time. You'll know when you're ready to start dating again. If you don't feel ready, then don't force yourself, like continue to grow in yourself and spend time with your family and friends and do things that bring you joy. And like, as you are rediscovering you, you'll know when it's time, you know? But just a friendly reminder, I went out with 13 different guys <laughs> before I met Yar. Yar was lucky 13. Um, <laughs> so it, you know, don't settle, wait for the right one. Um, and just like looking back, just enjoy the ride. Don't take it too seriously. Don't like put so much stress on it. Like your person will come and I know it's much easier said than done, but like from my own experience looking back, I'm like, I should have just relaxed <laughs> and, know, and knew that my person was coming because they did come and so will yours. Where's the best last minute gift store that's not too packed? Okay, honestly, if you're like in a big pickle, CVS, <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> CVS has some really good stuff. And not even just when I was there the other day and I showed you guys like the pre-wrapped swap gifts. Cause like those are kind of great too. And like they're pre-wrapped, but um, they had like a lot of other really cute stuff and they've got the gift bags um, and cards. But um, I feel like another good one is the paper store. The paper store is great. I guess it depends like where yours is located because it could get kind of busy, but they just have so many good gift ideas. And you can't go wrong with Target too. Since it's a bigger store, it won't be like so packed. But I don't know, that's my idea it's for like last minute. What camera do you use to vlog? I use the Sony, um, I had to Google it because I can't even remember the name of it and I'm using it right now. The Sony ZV-1 Mark II. I will link it, it's such, such a great camera. How do you and Yar like the Tesla? I'm thinking of getting one. We love the Tesla, honestly. It is such a good car. We've saved so much on gas. Like the charging at home is so cheap especially compared to gas, but like, I think it's like a couple bucks to charge it every time. And you get a lot of range out of it. Like, it's just like filling up the car with gas. Um, 
it takes corners really well. <laughs> like I'm used to driving my Hyundai little SUV and like it's like night and day driving the Tesla. It just it's it just drives so much more smoothly. The only thing I miss in the Tesla is that it doesn't have Apple CarPlay, which I love in the Hyundai, but it does have like Apple Music and I think they're going to add Apple Podcasts in an update. I think Yarmin said um, and they have like Google Maps and stuff, but like I can't use Waze on there and I like Waze. So it's, it's just one of those things, but overall, love it. Such a good car. Did you ever regret being on YouTube? No, I never regretted being on YouTube. I love being on YouTube. Back when I first started getting hate years ago, I had moments where I was like, I like just wanted to like run away. I can't believe this is like happening, like life ending. It just felt horrible when I first started getting hate. But like I never regretted being on YouTube because I just like love YouTube. I just love vlogging. Like even when I'm sick, I'm just like, I just want to talk to the people. I love YouTube. YouTube will always be like <laughs> one of the biggest parts of my life. I want to get like a YouTube tattoo. Underrated holiday movie, definitely Christmas with the Cranks. My favorite Christmas movie. It's the first one I watch every year. I mean, maybe it is not underrated. I don't know. <laughs> it's just my favorite. <laughs> if you didn't do social media right now, what would your job be? What does Yar do for a job? So Yar is a full-time accountant, part-time in the army. And if I wasn't doing social media, I would definitely still be in the beauty industry, probably still doing makeup, maybe like delving into esthetician-esque things, maybe brow lamination, maybe lashes, who knows. But um, I would definitely still be doing like makeup because that was just one of my favorite things. Eggnog, hot chocolate, or cider? Ooh. I like all three. I haven't, I can only do eggnog like once a year because <laughs> it's just like so aggressive. I have some on Christmas at my grandma's house. My grandpa always puts out eggnog with, um, what is it, rum? I don't know, he puts it out with that if you want to put it in there. Um, I love cider in the fall and hot chocolate around Christmas. What was your favorite Christmas tradition growing up? Um, growing up, I mean, even now, one of my favorite days of the year is when we put up my grandma's Christmas tree. We go cut it down at the tree farm after we tag it in October and we cut it down after Thanksgiving. And like, that's always just such a fun day. My grandma gets a little popcorn trio tin and we watch Elf and it's just such a cozy day. Can you make mangu on a vlog with your husband? Oh my God, I love mangu, it's so good. Next time I make breakfast, I could always do that. I haven't made it in a while though. What is the best gift you've ever received from Yar? Honestly, I was just thinking about this, so it's like at the top of my mind, but last year for my birthday surprise, he took me to Montreal and we stayed at the Ritz Carl Inn and he had like a beautiful 30 30th birthday celebration set up like rose petals on the bed that said 30. It was just, it was magical. He had like the best trip planned. That was like the best gift ever. Um, we, we decided we're gonna do like big things for birthdays on like the, on the tens or maybe the fives. I don't know what we said, like 30, 35, 40. Um, and like, we like to just keep birthdays pretty casual, like outside of that. So I'll be turning 31 this year. I don't wanna do anything spectacular. Um, I just wanna like go to a nice dinner. We like to keep our birthdays pretty simple outside the big ones, but that was the best um, gift ever. Like the best 30th birthday I could have ever asked for. Biggest pro and con of being on the internet, oh my God. Um, the biggest pro is that like it's creative and fun. It's, you know, not a traditional job and you have flexibility and it's, it's, it's an awesome job. It really is. I am so freaking grateful every day. Um, to have this as a job and have the flexibility and to make a great living and I'm so grateful for you guys watching because I couldn't do it without you. Um, and of course the biggest con is of course it's just a hate, you know, hate can really get to you and being criticized on like every little move you make when we're all just, we're all imperfect humans and like imagine if like you put your life, your whole life out there, no one's a perfect person. Like everyone can pick apart every little thing that you do. So sharing it online, it's like you're very subject to criticism, but um, you have to learn to just let it roll off your shoulders. Please talk about how you see yourself as a mother when that time comes. Oh my gosh, I think about this all the time. It makes me emotional. <laughs> I can't wait to be a mom. I just wanna be a safe space for my kids. I wanna be a friend to my kids and a parent, of course, but I want them to feel like they can talk to me. I want them to feel comfortable sharing anything with me and. Um, know that I'll always be there for them and I want to make them feel safe 
and special. I want to create so many like amazing memories and traditions with them because growing up, you know, it was just me and my mom growing up. Single mom. She worked her butt off to give me an amazing life. She worked three jobs to get me this like sick bunk bed when I was a kid and I'll never forget it. Um, she worked so hard and like, although like money was tight, she never made me aware of it. Like she never let me know. Like she still kept up with these amazing traditions and it's not even like you have to do anything expensive to be magical. Like my mom would do so many cute things. For instance, like on Christmas, she would, she'd make sure I knew Santa came because I would see his boot footprints from the door. There'd be like footprints of the boot with powder. So I knew Santa came. Um, and then like little things like at night, she would spray this like body mist and say it was magic spray. And I would need that to go to sleep. Like she'd spray the magic spray and it would help me sleep. And I needed the magic spray to go to sleep. It was awesome. Every night she'd come in, ch -ch 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 -ch, spray the body spray <laughs> in the air. Little things like that are just, that's what I see myself doing as a mother. Your thoughts on gender reveals. Okay, I just want to talk about this. <laughs> this might be controversial. I don't get all this gender reveal slander lately. I feel like I see so many people talking gender reveals. I, I don't know if I like miss something, but like I am seeing it all the time now. Like people are on gender reveal parties. Um, I don't really personally get it. I think I think it's all fun and fresh if that's what you want to do. I think it's fun. I think life is short and you should celebrate every little thing that you want to. Um, like I would like to do one one day. I think it's fun. I don't get why we have to like hate on people for doing things that make them happy or bring them joy. I don't know. We all, we all just need to live and let live. All right. Let people have fun. Let people do things that make them happy. Life is short. Celebrate it. Also, I find it really weird when people write something really rude. In these things, it's like, I'm just gonna block you. <laughs> I'm just gonna, just gonna block you. Do you have a house cleaner or do you do it all yourself? So we have a house cleaner come every two weeks and then I just keep it clean like in between, just with like vacuuming and wiping down, but then we have them deep clean every two weeks, just keeping it real. How to handle outgrowing some friendships or relationships, it hurts. I mean, I've definitely been through that over the last few years. Um, it is really hard, it's like a breakup. Um, you just, you have to give yourself time to like mourn that and like grieve losing that friendship or relationship and just kind of remind yourself that like people change people grow people do outgrow each other it doesn't mean you can't value you know what you had when you had it um but of course it's hard and it's going to take time to get past this is the best one i'm going to end it on this note Bonjour Amelia said, not a question, but doop de do dickery talk. Shout out to you, Amelia, for making my day with that one. All right, you guys, I've been talking for a while now and I'm getting tired, so um, I'll edit this and continue to watch the Steamies <laughs> family. All right, leaving the bed. It's almost three o'clock. I'm gonna edit this vlog, you know, whatever we have here. And we just got a couple packages delivered on the camera. So let's go bring them inside. And I think it's time for another round of DayQuil. Because I can feel the body aches and the congestion coming back. It's funny, like, I can tell when it starts to come back. And I forgot to set a timer, but it's definitely been more than four hours. So let's bring in the packages also. One of you guys recommended just spray painting all of this gold. I don't hate that idea. <laughs> All right, let's see if these are anything I can show you. Or if they are private. This was for Yar. It's like a home air filter cleaner. I also like need to start planning the Christmas Eve party because it's now in six days. So I definitely need to get that. Oh, get that organized. Oh, this is from Milani. They sent a bunch of the mini cans but of the peach, because they sent the mini ones of cherry slush, but this is great because I love the peach. I haven't been drinking caffeine the last few days while I've been sick, just because I don't think you're supposed to, um, but these are so nice. But whatever we have, we should be healed or at least not contagious for Christmas Eve, so that's good. We're supposed to, we were, like I said, we were supposed to go do my grandma's 
or a cookie day at my grandma's house where my family, all the girlies come together and make the Christmas cookies. So we we're pushing it now till the 23rd um, because that's my grandma's birthday too. So we can like see her on her birthday, make the cookies. So I should be good by then, fingers crossed. I'm just gonna like rest, 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 rest. Drink, 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 drink. So I'm sorry if these vlogs get a little boring, but I'm trying, I'm trying to still keep Vlogmas alive here. Poor Bruno has been so bored because we haven't been able to take a walk, but I've been trying to play with him like in the house. And luckily Bruno's pretty chill because most days we take a walk or we'll play like fetch in the backyard. But like with this rainy weather and the poor guy, actually, I don't think he's been bored. He's just been laying with me all day, but I'll try to play with him a little bit later. But thank you, Alani, for these. Um, I'm still waiting for one more Amazon thing, like a custom gift I got my grandma for her birthday. It's so cute, and I can't wait to show you guys. Oh, arriving Thursday. Okay. Oh, they're cutting it close. It was supposed to come, like, yesterday. That's okay, though. It'll come in time. I also have been drinking orange juice this is like a fresh orange juice cold press i don't know it just it it tastes like fresh fresh oj so i've been drinking a glass of this every day i don't know if it helps it feels like it does <laughs> pour myself a little glass while i edit this vlog i still have an hour and a half left of the steamies so i'll finish that after i edit cheers to everyone else out there who's sick Cheers if you're not sick. I would love to be you. I'll check back in later. Many hours later. Okay, I'm making a super easy dinner. We're just gonna have some tomato soup. Never tried this brand before, so I'll give you a review. I'm normally just like a Campbell's girl. So we'll see if this one's any good. Um, I'm just gonna make some grilled cheese. With cheddar and American, like so simple. We just basically are eating to survive. Neither of us have like big appetites right now, but like it's like I'm not craving anything, but I'm like physically hungry. Like my stomach is growling, but like I don't really feel like eating. We, last night we started watching After Fast and Furious 4. I was kind of into it and I'm like, do you want to start 5? <laughs> and we watched half of it. So we're going to watch the second half tonight. I like it. <laughs> One thing that I love about Yarmin is that he always encourages me to like watch things that I might not think I'd like. And it's been great because now some of my favorite shows are things that I like never thought I would like. Um, like literally, I never wanted to watch Game of Thrones ever because it just seemed like too much. Like murder, just like bad things. And I'm like, I can't watch that. I like The Office, I like happy shows, but now it's like, such a great show one of my favorite shows stranger things never seemed like one of my shows um it's one of my favorite shows so i love that he encourages me to like try to watch new things um and we always have the 20 minute rule if i don't like it we shut it off and vice versa for him too because i've i put him on to some <laughs> some corny movies but um yeah that's one thing that i like love about our marriage is that it's very like i don't know we definitely push each other out of our comfort zones, but like in a good way, you know? So yeah, all right, I'm gonna whip these up. But we're gonna finish Fast and Furious 5 tonight. I like the Fast and Furious movies. Who would've known? Also, we did not wash the hair today. So definitely tomorrow. <laughs> okay, you guys, the soup's heating up. I'm gonna give you a review of this Imagine Organic Soup. Ooh, okay, the soup is very good. It's very creamy, dense. I like it. I still have not made the cheddar broccoli soup, but soup and like warm beverages has been nice. So maybe we'll do this tomorrow. We're keeping the content alive somehow, you guys. Yarman asked me earlier, he's like, how are you <laughs> keeping Vlogmas alive? I'm like, I don't know. Um, Emma, is it alive? <laughs> is anybody out there? Also, you guys, I just thoroughly got sucked into Holiday Baking Championship. Number one, I didn't know Jesse from The Bachelor was the host of that. That was all confusing for me. Um, but I got sucked into like two episodes and then I was like, I'm gonna go make dinner. But now I'm like thinking about what's happening. I'm thinking about how the Kwanzaa dishes came out. So, you know, <laughs> I'm invested. I'm invested now. I might uh, 
watch more of that another time it's on like 24 7 now i feel like if you want to make the best grilled cheese i recommend doing different kinds of cheese american is always a classic i also love munster my mom put me on a munster long ago munster and havarti is very good so yeah that's that's the vlog today you guys we're gonna eat we're gonna watch fast and furious and we're gonna just continue on with our life um any words um. <laughs> you just reading your book there you cute old man did I get you that one time? Yes, you did. <laughs> Rock on. All right, you guys. On that note, see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 20. <laughs> Bye.